No, I totally agree. It's very it, the, the the psychopath's obsession with sexuality is completely uh, mirrored in what we call culture today, and uh, you, you almost get the impression now. Bit, growing up here, and I know Denmark is, is very liberal and always has been very liberal, but it was a tremendous education growing up here in Ireland, being the age I am, and seeing that transition from a sort of what they would call a conservative society to a very liberal society now. And, you know, back in the old days, you know, it's, it, it's, it's not that people didn't have sex. They did. <laughs> You know, they did. They did. Everybody was everybody was fucking every. You know, somebody back even back then. But there was a. It was almost like a, there was a sacredness to the sexual act that it was so. I wouldn't say it was the taboo thing that put it off, but it was almost like that if you found someone that you loved, and you were very attracted to each other, well, the sexual encounters you would have with that person within that sort of cultural framework work could be just beautiful and magical and just enchanting and you can understand why those in the Victorian age that gave birth to the most beautiful poetry and literature and when you transcend from that to a very liberal open society and you can basically you know buy somebody a beer and have sex with them that magic has been lost that beauty has been sacrificed and it's so there's a lot to be said for self uh, regulation of your sexuality I you know in, in that sense because I think a lot of people are growing up now in the Western world who just don't understand the, the concept of sacred a sacred sexual union and I'm not talking about religion here I'm talking about that that incredible sort of uh, sense of bonding that two people can have it doesn't exist it, for men. It's, no. it's both. And it's tragic. It's tragic. And what, what's happening is they're being turned into how psychopaths view sex. Psychopaths don't view sex like that. To them, it's a power trip. It's something to do. Mm. And, and, and I think it, it, it's, it's two parts, the way I view it. Um, it's, um, it's the dismind thing. It's, um, it's the ecstasy, right? The, the, the classical term ecstasy. When because sexuality is something that uh, is outside of normal life when it's done right uh, eroticism romance uh, sexuality it's all it, it does not belong in in everyday life it, it it's that is why it's sacred it belongs yeah. at specific times uh, specific points in life uh, you, you don't have to plan it, but you need to make sure that you understand that there's a difference between um, being in that state of mind and your natural everyday life. You can't really mix the two. Uh, and the other part is about the practical union and the intimacy. The fact that you, that you can join with another human being, share something that binds you together, not just in spirit, but if you are lucky also in flesh because you will have progeny and that will be your marriage bond you do not need a ring on your finger the fact that there is something running around that's half of each from that union that is enough yeah and the, the whole idea of the penis you know I was talking to somebody who does the penis and the vagina and somebody it was it came up in relation to the issue of male circumcision in the United States. I don't know if you know this, but most men, infant boys in America, are sex, are circumcised at birth. And there's now a huge push by uh, by mothers, particularly in the U.S., to have this circumcision stopped because it, it's it's an absolutely barbaric thing. Uh, it, it serves no no real medical purpose whatsoever. Mental. And it, it serves a mental purpose. I was just yes, it was, causes a form of uh, psychological uh, dissociative identity First disorder. First of all, you get you get violated, um, and second of all, you um, you 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 lose some of your sensation. And if you yeah, and if you look at it that way, right? It's uh, it's numbing the person. It's a desensitizing agent. Exactly. Yeah. And that's yeah. important. I was just watching the uh, um, the the Stephen Molyneux. Um, um, 
uh, topic where he's talking about um, nurture and uh, caressing and, um, and 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 how violence versus uh, nurture, right? If 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 you if you become violated at some point in your childhood, you will not be able to feel pleasure the same way ever again. You become damaged goods, right? Um, so when you desensitize and they've just uh, brought in a, a new rule in Denmark that you are not allowed to uh, that kids are not allowed to have child sexuality games they, they're not allowed to 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 do those um, sexual uh, playful things that they do what like what like what well you know when when prepubescent kids uh, experiment with sex. I'll I'll show you yours. You show me mine, kind Think, of thing. Things like that, and and they touch the little boys. The touch, yeah, okay. They show, yeah, okay. That that's now banned. That that is banned now. They're not allowed to do that. They are supposed to stop kids from doing that. And but that's how they build gender identity. Exactly, and 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 the point is that that means that this is just more desensitization of the kids. This is this is oh, just it's making. Like that story. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Now it's like that story in Sweden where you have the genderless preschools now. Yes, and and you are just totally taking out sexuality, taking out physical contact, taking out empathy, or asserting your own sexuality. Yep. Yeah, and it's all, well, this is all transhumanism. This is what this is all heading for. Totally. That's what that's 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 what they're aiming for. Tra transhumanism is a, it, it, you know, the whole idea. Like, the, the machine won't have any sexuality. This is why so many psychopaths are obsessed with transhumanism. They see it as gone the next stage. I choose transhumanism because I choose to win. You know all this crap. And uh, yeah, that's what that, that's that's all that is about. The first thing you have to do is the, if you want to implement the transhumanist globalist society, first thing you do is you kill the traditions, you kill the cultures, you kill the religions, you kill the national identities. The next thing you do is then you kill these. Uh, the social archetypes within the society, the family, the family structure, the, the sexual identity, the sexuality even, and uh, even the, the internal relationship between mother, father, son, daughter, brother, sister. Once you break that up, everyone is then dependent upon the state, and then you can create your human, brand human towards the, the transhumanist model, and then they can have their transubstanti the, the transubstantiation of the, the human with the machine into the techno Christ. And that's